Welcome to raigurukul.com. In this video, we will discuss about how to set up native notification in Azure Syntax. So let's see what we will discuss in detail. So today's agenda is to set up email notifications, how to add notification app, creating notification rule, work item type notifications and whenever it's not required we can delete the notification or inactive notification room so we'll discuss here in detail if you really want to understand in detail please watch complete video for more detail and if you have not yet subscribed this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates let's begin with notification practical demo so whenever we are walking or we are talking about setting up notification to keep us informed of changes to work items that affect work in which we are actively engaged. Related work items are often changed and updated during the course of development and it is important these changes are known to all involved team members. We can configure custom notification rules as well as set up general notification rules for most work item types. Notification set on work items types are triggered by any changes in the version history for the that work item, including changes in associated work items such as tasks, defects, and dependencies. We will receive a notification if we own the item or any of the associated work items. We can also create custom notification using that defined rule. A change can be triggered by user added to a work item or by a system event. In some cases, as the owner of the change work item, we will see our work item displayed. In other cases, we will see work items that have changed that we do not own but that impact a related work item that we do own. We can view notification multiple ways. We can add an app to our dashboard that shows our notifications or set up an RSS feed. If our subscription administrator has enabled email dependent feature of Rally, we can set up email notification to have Rally send updated directly to our email account. Let's see how to view our notification or setting up email notifications. So Rally provides three ways for viewing our notifications. We can create, we can view them via an email notifications, the My Notification app or an RSS feed. So let's see how to set up notification. Setting up notification is very much easy. We have to select our profile picture. From here, we have to click on Edit Profile and from clicking Edit Profile, you can enable or disable according to your need. It's if email notification checkbox is not checked at, you have to check it otherwise you will not get notification whenever there is a update happen if you don't want to receive that just uncheck it but i want that to be checked because i really want to have the changes whatever changes anyone doing i need to get the update for me so this is a simple way but if you want to add the my notification app so let's see how we'll do that from the dashboard menu click on add app so uh, here go to and click on add app once you will click on the add app type my notification so this is the application which is already created by rally select this app and click on add i have already added it once you will click on add add this app will be added on your dashboard so let's see how to set up an RSS feed for change notifications. RSS is really simple syndications is lightweight XML format designed for sharing web content. Anything that can be broken down into clearly defined items can be shared through RSS such as revisions or changes made to a rally work item. Once information about each item is in RSS format, an RSS aware program can check the feed for changes and react to the changes in an appropriate way. So for setting up RSS feed, we just have to go to rally1.rallydev.com 
slash SLM. I will don't worry about that. I will mention this complete URL in my description tab. From there, you have to copy paste and do the login and you can set up the RSS feed. For creating a notification rule. So let's see and understand how to create a notification rule. So for setting up general notification on our box item type as well as create custom notification rule, we can use both type of rule at the same time. In all cases, notification are sent to the owner of the work item that are affected by the changes. All notification rules are for a single rally user and cannot be shared globally. So you can set up the notification on users to device, test cases wise, defect wise. For setting up a notification, go to set this icon and from here, uh, sorry, go to this a profile icon and click on my settings and from here select notification rule where you can see here work product type you can set up the notification rule for defect defect suits user story task and test cases so whenever you are creating you have to check this box and click on new notification rule once you will click on the new window will appear here you have to provide the name like if you want to set notification for defect you have to enter the name add conditions adding condition is very much easy you have to select the defect whenever there is an update happen or changed happen you will get notified now you can add conditions other conditions like change author so whenever the change author name is equal to you will have to provide the information info if this user will be updated or any author name changed to this they will get notified so this is once you create a uh, click on create save and close this notification rule will be added on your notification rule if you want to update it you have to click on this and you should make the changes again click on save and close the notification will be updated but if you want to delete this notification rule Simply click on this and your notification rule will be deleted permanently. So this is how we can create the notification, update the notification rule and delete it. So in all of our round, we have discussed about the complete email notifications which is available in Rally Login Credentials. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.